Uh, good afternoon, fellow classmates and Mr. Esperacino. My name is David Chang, and I will be testing my Rube Goldberg machine. So first of all, the first criteria we have to ensure that this makes is the fact that it uses five core technologies. So as you can see, from here, I'm using electro I'm using the electric power, electrical power, the electrical technology, in the form of my lamp to create thermal energy, which is um, thermal technology, in order to heat up this ice, which eventually will make the ice melt. When the ice, of course, when the ice melts now, it's going to turn, it's going to melt to water, right? And I'm going to use that hydraulic technology to be able to push this water wheel. And when they, put, they push this water wheel, it's material technology because it moves, because of course, the, when the ice melts, it turns into water, which is a different tool, which will move this ball down this ramp into the cup where it finally belongs to. So the mechanical, and there's one more energy, and the mechanical energy that it requires for me to turn on the light bulb, uh, which is the click of a switch, which in turn, inside the, inside the light bulb, it's, inside the lamp itself, is a gear system. And this gear system is mechanical energy. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this off now, and it might take it might take a little while, but it, it should work out. I've tested it a few times already. So there's a mechanical energy, and this is a very strong light bulb. If you couldn't tell, it heats up very quickly. So give it some time. I'll jump ahead to where the ice actually starts melting because it's going to take a bit. As you can see, the ice is starting to melt from the thermal energy released by this extremely strong lamp it gets very hot and that's a sort of energy trans transformation from electrical to thermal so it's using thermal technology which is being powered by electrical energy which is started by mechanical technology Okay, well, as you can tell so far, uh, it's a little hard to see, but the ice is beginning to melt. You can see a little bit of water falling, dripping down. Yep. So just give it a few, another few minutes or so. Um, yeah, ice. the ice is taking quite a bit to melt. I think I might have put a little too much. That's something to remember. But in, essentially, this is hydraulic power because it's using water pressure and water force. So well, sort of, you can tell it's very simple as it's literally just using water to push down this water wheel. That is a hydraulic technology because we're using water as a tool essentially to push something. So uh, yeah, I'll check in another few minutes as more ice begins to melt. Hopefully the ball will fall sooner than later. Oh, there it goes, and there it goes in the cup. So essentially, this is a really slow-moving hydraulic sort of technology. Uh, it's very simple. We can only repeat it like a few times, but I just wanted to showcase that you can make a sort of little hydraulic sort of water wheel that works in a Rube Goldberg system. So there's there you go.